Hey there, beer tubers! Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Special guest, Ice Almighty. More like I'm the guest in his house, really. Gonna take a look at something from Brasserie de Dur de Dur Dur de Ciel. Dur de Ciel. Dur de Ciel. Corn de Diable. Horn of, of the, the Devil. India Pale Ale coming in at 6.5% ABV from uh, Saint Jerome, Quebec. Yeah. So uh, what else is this uh, here? Stuff in Bottled on October 11, it looks like. How long have you had this one for? Oh, a while. I think I got it in end of November, maybe. Oh, so it was fresh when you got it. Yeah. Still, it should be fine. Water, malted barley, wheat, wheat, hops, and yeast. Mm. So yeah, and of course, uh, in true D to CL style, they got a nice little label on there depicting, well, I'm assuming the devil. Yep, so but, this is, uh, this is a, an IPA, but it is apparently a, a unique Quebecois interpretation of the North American IPA, hmm. so it's something a little different. Yeah, it should be interesting to try. Exactly. I think I mangled the cap there. Oh, well, you have a few to see all the caps before. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Let's see what kind of interpretation of the style they put that. It's dark for an IPA. A little bit. Yeah. All right. Almost like iced tea or something. Yeah, no. Tiedestiel is more well known for their Belgian style ales. Hmm. Uh, Rather than a IPA, per se. That's got like a mulled apple cider kind of look like. Yeah, it's quite. Not, not quite like brown, the alcoholic quite, cider. Kind of rusty almost. Yeah. And it's not clear either, so it's, it's, it's not filtered. Hmm. At least not filtered too much. I don't see like chunks or anything, but it's definitely hazy. Definitely got some haze. And it's it's definitely got like an iced tea look going on. Mm. It looks nice. Um, the head, I, there's not a whole lot of head to speak of, but I did pour it rather gently. And, um, but what's there has got this kind of like a, an off yellow kind of thing, kind of look to it, like a brownish yellow. Mm. That looks nice. Yeah, it's a little darker than I would have expected, but certainly, you know, within the tolerance. Mm. You need a smell. Very herbal. Herbal, earthy, a little floral. Not too much, uh, not too much citrus in this one. Not getting too much earthy, but it's definitely like a, a floral, herbal smell. Yeah. Hmm. Tiny, I get a tiny, tiny bit of earth. But yeah, it's yeah. Plain. You're right. There's a little bit of bit predominantly there. floral. Though. But you do get it, detect a bit of a caramel malt in there as well, like a mm. caramel, like a brown sugar, maybe a little bit of like a fruity kind of smell, red mm. fruit kind of thing. Berries. That would be in line with the usual fare. Yeah. It smells really nice. It's um, very different. It's different, but it's very nice. It seems like an IPA with a very different way of hopping it. There is a sm slight amount of like a like a citrus twang to that, that hop, so uh, who knows exactly how many varieties of hops they used for this. It sounds smells like they used quite a few. Yeah, so you want to give it a taste? Sound hatch. That's weird. It's a little different. That is different. It's quite dry. Very dry. It's all like that shipyard puddles that we had. Maybe not quite so overboard. Somewhere between the shipyard puddles and the um, Maui Brewing Co. Big swell. Yeah, I'd say um, this is closer to being a traditional IPA with, mm -hmm. a, with a slightly different interpretation. It's very earthy and a little bit of herbal in there. Mm. But you can make out there's a little bit of a, um, a citrusness to it that kind of nulls that uh, effect. Yeah. But you definitely get the floral, earthy, herbal kind of taste. It's got there's pretty bit, much everything. Uh, the floral is not as strong and the citrus is a little more predominant. Hmm. But the most predominant thing is going to be your earthy backbone. Yeah. Like really right now I'm getting this lingering earthy taste in the back of the throat. And it, uh, it seems to mask the malts quite well. You're not really getting a whole lot of malt out of it. There's like a hint of toasted grain in the aftertaste, and um, it's a little bit sweet, but not very sweet. That being said, it's not way out of balance with mm. the style. No. That's actually quite nice, considering. Mm. That's it's a bit, like it's a, a bit heavier IPA than we've been getting so far today. It is thick, yes. The body of it is quite thick for an IPA. But if yeah, I, were I would to... say that this is, this is almost... 
This is almost like they went and did a Belgian IPA, but went to like a dark strong ale rather than the lighter Belgian ales. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of like a dark Belgian a IPA. ale. But a Belgian IPA, yeah. It's kind of a dark Belgian style IPA. It's weird. Yeah. 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 I kind of like, like a Deconic IPA, basically. That's nice. Wanna think about this one for a minute? Yeah, sure. We'll uh, sit down with this one. Yeah, not that we're already sitting down or anything. And we'll be right back. And we're back with Dude CL's Corn de Diab. So, uh, what did you think of this one? I think this one actually manages to be an IPA. <laughs> I'd, I'd have to agree with that. It does more to be uh, what I would consider to be a true IPA per se, but it is very unique and very different. It's very Quebecois. Very Quebecois. It's it's quite. I don't exactly know what the what to call it. It's 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 like an IPA in the sense that it actually has that IPA body and flavor, but it has a bold hobby. Ho yeah, exactly. The, the hop quality is completely different than what you might expect from a beer. It's it's got a lot of earthiness, but it blends quite well with the rest of the beer. But perhaps not quite as traditional to the style as one might hope. Um, if you're not a big fan of earthy beers and you're in, like you don't like earthy hops, you're not going to like this one. But I enjoyed it. And you enjoyed it, right? I definitely would recommend it. Yeah, I would. If recommend you want to try too. something different in the IPA style, this would definitely be a good way to go. Hmm. So, what would you give it for a rate? We can four and a quarter. Four and a quarter? I wasn't going to go that high. I was going to give it like a high three point five. Well, you can do what you like. Hey, so can you? There you go. Whatever. It's unique, and it's certainly a pleasure to try, but it's not what I would consider my favorite IPA. I don't think it's my favorite IPA, but it's certainly an interesting representation and interpretation of the style. Mm. And certainly really nice to actually get a chance to try this. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching Maxwell Stairs uh, and uh, Heist Almighty's review of Corn de Diablo. Talk to you guys later. Cheers. <laughs>